Let's say we have two users dealing with the same workload for the company, and the department manager decided to fire one of them named Graham. As an admin, you may need to delete Graham's office account or remove his license for cost saving. But you have to keep his email and data active for a while. Graham has important files located in his OneDrive site. We need to keep these files accessible after deleting the user account. Until recently, this was something we needed to worry about and put more effort into. Now, if you delete any licensed user, you will encounter two questions about delegating his emails and OneDrive files. In the first option, if you specify a user here, that user will be able to access Graham's files for 30 days by default. You can increase this period through SharePoint Admin Center. Next, specify a user to provide access to Graham's mailbox. This option also converts Graham's mailbox to shared mailbox. Thus, you no longer need to assign a license to keep Graham's mailbox active. While handling all this, the system also offers an automatic response for you. If you wish, you can activate this automatic reply only for internal or for all senders. By using the Assign and Convert button, you can complete the access permissions and shared mailbox operations. As you can see from Exchange Admin Center, Graham's mailbox is a shared mailbox now. Also, you can see Nick is delegated to control the mailbox and send mail as Graham. Now, we are going to Nick's Outlook to check whether he has access to Graham's mailbox. Yes, he is able to access Graham's mailbox. The mailbox is empty because it's a newly created test account. But I'm sending an email to test what will happen. The test mail has been delivered to Graham's inbox. And I got an auto reply which we set while delegating access. Last, let's go to Nick's OneDrive site for check access to Graham's OneDrive files. If you have Graham's OneDrive site URL, just paste it into a new tab. If you don't, use any OneDrive site URL by changing the username part. The result is satisfactory. Graham's files are accessible. Thus, we hand over the former employee's data to a teammate without using a license. 